I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. It smells like right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. And the Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's got to be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we got to force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. So you the scary motherfucker who gonna deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to bring us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in the cell upstate around Easton. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the best old gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here, but knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. That little speed freak junior stayed up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an E out at the best oil. Say junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire into your ass. That and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass. Tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina.
Can you spare some of your crew to hold Tick 4? Whatever you need, brother. Help is on the way. I become a priest. Every bad thing you experience, every trauma, they they never leave you. Sure, you might forget about them for a while, but when the next one comes along. No matter how slight, it brings everything back. It reminds you of the weight you've been lugging around. I knew I couldn't carry all that on my own. I just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're gonna hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean is gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I never seen Sal so pissed. You gotta get your ass back here like right fucking now. Sal's pissed? What about me, huh? Down here busting my ass, and now I have to deal with this shit? I told you. I take care of you, and I stand by that. When you're back in town and things calm down, I'll make it right. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Boat's taking off here in a few minutes. I gotta finish up with some things. Then I'll fly back when I can. I checked with Vessel Traffic Services, and they're expecting the Tanager to arrive any time now. Frank's a slippery bastard, so I have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city. His car is on the Tanager, though. And from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, we'll take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs>
Baraka. I think you've been waiting for me. Yeah. Pablo Duarte. You're with the company? Not exactly. There gotta be a problem. If you can help keep money from going to those communist bastards in Cuba, then no. You with the Cuban Revolutionary Council? I made it through that disaster back in 61. Ended up here. I still have connections, though. It's how Frank Pagani's smuggling operation got on my radar. His man, Pops Holland, runs the freight yard. Does a lot of business with Havana. <laughs> All that commie talk about common ownership is so much bullshit, it's sickening. Those hijos de puta only care about money. Since losing River Row, Pops has had to resort to airdrops. They move them around, so you'll have to find out where they're happening. I'm sure Pops' people will be more than happy to help me out. I'll be back, Pablo. Shit's close. Hey! Hey! Done made my guy. Dropping like fucking flies! Don't look back. Any units in the vicinity of Tickfall Harbor, please respond to reports of an armed Negro male in the area. Somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Word is, Pops Holland is seriously fucked thanks to you. Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh. Yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. But I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. <laughs> Boy, see what I see. Yeah.
Johnny Depp's life, dip shit. Give me a minute. <laughs> Of course. If we're gonna hold Tickfall Harbor, I'm gonna need some of your guys. Putting us in there gives us a foothold on the district. All you gotta do is make it official at the next sit down. I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later. Looks like the place. Did anything to you? Saw some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Hey, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen, what you saw. Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth his shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew. On account of robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Marcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, How? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was... 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. No. Fuck!
I've spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy Ellis and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster. Come on, come on, let's go. I'm done with Frank Pagani. The poor bastard's not gonna be running anything through Tickfall Harbor again. It's our territory now. Time for me to run something more than a holler, brother. You got us secure in the district. I see no reason we shouldn't remain there. To say I'm biding my time would be a fucking understatement. I got no idea where your mind's at, but my patience is running short. We're on a good run here, Lincoln. I see no reason anything should change. Now, not using my guys to lock down a district makes it real fucking messy if you want us to run shit, but hell, you pay me to clean up the mess. Ain't a territory in this city I can't. The Haitians will run this part of the city. How about you quit wasting my goddamn time? No one here has got more know-how than yours truly. If you can't see that, then you can go fuck yourself. Sit down, Burke. You just embarrassing yourself. I'm gonna call this if no one else will. All right, that's it. We're done for now. Look, I gave you some names and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The 90. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so we could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. It's like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer, a leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself, so he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats, so his rackets are pretty low-key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez, so he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates. <laughs>